Hello, this is Gabe Decay of the 3100 class here to show you how to cut custom toolpaths using RhinoCam. First step, in the command bar, type RhinoCam 2016. This is still not working on my computer for unclear reasons. You can, uh, it should open a menu over here. This has a bounding box option in which, um, which will generate a frame around a selected object as such. However, I made a better one beforehand. It will be orange and semi-transparent like this. Then you can click the 2D engrave, um, the 2D cut path, and click engrave, which will imply um, create a tool. Don't you don't have to build it in RhinoCam? You can specify the specifications of the tool, and um, within RhinoCam, and it will allow you to cut along custom paths. If you want it to cut along um, a long curve, then you can select a curve and allow it to cut. The, ball, the machine will drive over to the end point of the curve, cut down to it, follow the path where the line goes along the center of the tool, and then lift up and is done. You can have it cut to individual points where it would reach over to the point, drill straight down, come back up, and it's done. And you can have them do multiple iterations of points at once. This allows for a sort of hole shape in which you can cut to that depth. You can have it cut to a lower depth as well and, but, and have the points on the top, but you can also create a bitmap upon the surface itself and have it drill out holes in a sort of honeycomb-like fashion, which leads to a very nice design. Real quick, something else you can do is the contour command in Rhino, which will allow you to create a series of stepped lines along the surface. For example, uh, contour, select objects for contours. I want this surface, hit enter. Contour base plane, uh, plane base point. Uh, let's make it the origin, origin's nice. And a good second position would be, well, all right, that works too. On the front plane, let's have it travel in that direction. You can see over here it's generating the contours line by line by line, and it's creating perpendicular planes cutting through it at even intervals. In this case it's 0.25 as that's what I previously set it to be. And it's done. So go back into perspective and you can see that it has generated a series of curves that overlap on the surface. You can have RhinoCam come through and cut along these, um, you can engrave along these paths and that will generate a step surface in the particular direction of the lines. It would give it a sort of, I guess, Machu Picchu kind of looking effect. So yeah, that's my demonstration. Thanks for watching.